Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Guys, this is your reading. So with the energies that I described, please take it where it resonates in your life. Remember, there's always an extended reading that I hope you will join me for. That link is below and I'll attach it to the end of the video as well. And I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, where we deep dive into daily astrology and weekly astrology, and I go live Monday through Friday, do a general tarot card reading over there. I hope you guys can join me. I'll attach the link somewhere up above too. Pisces, this is actually really particularly lovely right now, this energy. Um... When reviewing the astrology, <laughs> Neptune is going to be sextile to the sun by the end of the week. Um, it's trying to the full moon, which is actually really peaceful, really harmony, really harmonizing. I got to tell you, it's almost like you're going to be very supportive because this full moon is not going to be the easiest full moon for a lot of people, but um, because it's square to Chiron. So, um, but Pisces, Neptune is really offering that beautiful harmony with this moon. I also just realized that your your natural ruler of Neptune is has been going through Pisces for a while. And those of you who are kind of at the middle to end of the Pisces season are going to find that Neptune is conjunct to your sun. So if you've been finding yourself very dreamy, extra creative, but also extra distractible, that's why. But something is going to happen even more powerful this week. And that's the sun, because of where it is in Capricorn, is going to sextile by the end of the week. is going to sextile Neptune. So that means especially for you Pisces born mid to late Pisces season, the, the sun-Neptune conjunction that you're experiencing, well, your natal sun-Neptune conjunction that you're experiencing right now is also going to be sextile to the current sun. So that's cray. That's cray. Because what does that mean? You're going to get attention. Attention is going to be put to you. You're also going to get purpose and feel a rush of energy, certainty, and confidence in what you do or what you've been up to. This could also do a little bit of a surge of romance as well because remember the sun really does rule romance. This is happy times. So, especially for those later to, to mid, mid to late Pisces, I'll tell you, you this is going to be really nice for you this week. Um, and it's not going to be bad for any Pisces, really. I mean, Jupiter starts off the week sextile to Venus. It's not like anything horrible is happening in the air. These are really supportive, wonderful energies astrologically. Um, growth, expansion, and even luck. We have the world card and the king of wands that have come out. Yes, that means that you're taking action on something that you've been wanting to do for a while or you're ready to take action, finally take action, close one chapter, finish it up, you're done, you've completed a cycle, yay. So you could be celebrating the fact that you have completed something, that you finished something. This could also be tying the knot or finishing things up with some fire sign. I don't even mean finishing things up, I mean kind of officiating things with a fire sign. So this is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? This is a sense of maybe starting something new, <coughs> beginning something new with this person. This is a person of great good looks, um, intellect, charisma, also passion. Maybe your whole world is changing. You're, you're, you're definitely ending a cycle in your life and you're beginning a brand new one. So this could also mean you, like you've taken control of your life and you're moving forward. This is a good time to do it. This is it. This is, this is when the stars are aligned and supporting your energy to like initiate something new because people will notice you. And what you start now, you will complete, you will finish. But I think for a lot of you, you are completing out a cycle and you're starting, you're seeing that you're going in a, a new direction, beginning something not unknown to you, but like that you've wanted. 
No, this is new. No, 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 fresh. Pisces. Who is this King of Wands? A Scorpio. It's definitely somebody you have a heavy sexual attraction to. I'm just going to say it right now. Because Scorpio came out. The death card came out. But this is also about regeneration. Regenerating. So it could be somebody from your past. Coming back. You know Mercury is in retrograde. But death is about becoming something different. Becoming something new. It's a, a total finish. Done. And then beginning of a next cycle of your life. This is resurrection. The birth of the new you and the emperor. So this is a birth of a more powerful you. A more confident you. Maybe a more competent you. You could even be um, making yourself look different. Or your, your looks are changing. And you want, you want to make them change. This is a sense of sort of getting back into the more physical. And taking more initiative. And taking action. This is a great time to take action, Pisces. This is sexual, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Look at the lineup. Look at the lineup. Come on. You have the King of Wands, Scorpio, and Aries. This is like, this is this is big dick energy. I'm just going to say it straight out. That's what it is. It's, it's real virility. Like feeling that vitality course through your veins. Really um, strong sexual energy. Let's pick a moon card. Ooh. Got to be starting something. What do you need to release? That's a good question. Let's ask the car. Okay. Moon. This has been building for a while that you've wanted to get rid of this or let it go or be able to let it go. You know, have the strength, have the power, have the authority over yourself to be able to just let something leave and go your hard work is paying off and prosperity lies ahead your dreams need a practical plan which means there is abundance and it's almost like in some ways you've already put your dreams to practical work like look at this these earth energies all out here for you we've already had a full moon in capricorn now what are you doing because it's almost like by that full full moon in taurus this is scorpio season or you could be working on something long term or planning something long term that absolutely will come to fruition. It just may take most of the year. The full moon in Taurus is in Scorpio season. But that's here. It's like taking action, going for it, not caring how long it takes. So it's like you're initiating something. You're initiating something and then it comes to fruition by that full moon in Scorpio. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I have a lot of... I'm not feeling so good. But it will pay off. And if this is when your dreams manifest into reality, around that time, about 10 months from now. That's interesting. Pisces. Strength. This is a courageous year for you. Bold new moves. Also, marriage. You could be getting married. Strengthening a relationship. Making a decision. Maybe even like, like having a choice. You had to decide between what, what you wanted and what you were more passionate about. Um, marriage is here. This could be traveling or moving or deciding to go in a different direction, having the strength to finally do it. But wherever it is, it's leading to something very solid. You have a lot of Taurus energy here. This is financially sound energy. Financially sound. And marriage, or maybe you're planning a marriage, which would happen later on this year let's get some details and specifics the hanged man so right now you're kind of waiting or you don't know what's going to happen you're growing um you're growing something what are you growing could be a new life the tower is here which means it's something something that is currently under work something that's currently being built now is legitimately going to change your life permanently like shocker what is pisces working on 
What is Pisces working on? Fixing financial situations, definitely. But that is saying that, yeah, could be even through marriage. <laughs> could be through marriage that you will, de will definitely help any kind of financial worries that you've been having. Or financial worries for your spouse will be getting worked out. But we have finding a way to make things work. Finding a way to make things work together and put things together. Finding a way to move forward. We have the two of pentacles and the ten of wands. So you're, this is hard work. This is a major life-changing thing for you. Leave the comments below. I would love to know. And don't forget to like this video if you like this reading so far. And subscribe to the channel. I'm going to cut this reading a little bit short, guys, because I just don't feel good. But I will definitely be going over to the extended. Uh, temperance and the Hermit. So this is interesting. This could have started around Sagittarius season and been leading through to Virgo season. Okay, so something might come to fruition by then. Remember, depending on who you are, you have different time schedules. Then we have Ace of Cups. It's like kind of love moving the direction forward or any way that you or your spouse was stuck. Um, hard work and dedication. I'm so sorry. not really knowing this is almost like you're getting into a new line of work you're getting into a new job you're taking on a responsibility that might is, is kind of worrying you financially but it's okay because you do have support you do have support especially from somebody who loves you or your whole heart is into this right so you're definitely investing in something and deciding to put your whole heart into it even though it's a financial risk that doesn't seem to matter to you, though, because you're very devoted to it. Something traditional and life-changing. Who's getting married? Who's having babies? Or this is just financial situation. Let's get deeper. We'll go into the extended Pisces. I'll see you guys there.